Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. I thought I would try something a little different today, but still totally related to motherhood <laughs> and just show you the state of my like kitchen and living space throughout the day. Now the night before, you guys can see obviously at seven-ish in the morning, everything was nice and cleaned up. I worked really hard just to clean up everything and make it as like ideal in some sense as possible. And you guys will see that throughout the day, things get messy. It's a disaster at times. During Jack's nap, I'll clean up again. And you know, it just, there's like highs and lows of cleanliness in our living space. And I really hope that, you know, this particular morning at least doesn't discourage you. It seems like everything is still staying very clean, you know, after the kids are up and out of their bedrooms, but that's because I encourage them to go play outside. So I get that, you know, at this time of year, not many of you guys can go play outside. Maybe it's really snowing or I don't really know what it's like to live anywhere other than like warm areas like Arizona, California, Texas. I did live in Washington for six months, but for the most part, I can go outside almost year round. So the kids were, you know, playing outside in the morning. That definitely helped keep my house clean. But once they came inside, you can kind of see like my house is getting a little bit more, you know, cluttered, you know, just it's definitely lived in. So on this day, I was planning on making some sourdough. So you can see my sourdough starter like almost about doubled in size. So it was time to, you know, start to assemble the dough. I actually made like a single batch at first. And then I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and make another batch. So then later on, like I assembled more dough and I'm still trying to find what I would consider like my perfect recipe given my environment given, you know, the ingredients I'm using and the timing and all of that. So I just, you know, it, it didn't matter that like I made the dough a little bit after I prepared my first batch. So I'm reminded that by this little like Starbucks cup on my counter, I am so blessed to have this one friend, uh, my friend Val, who works at Starbucks and lives relatively close to me. I couldn't leave the house this day because we had someone coming to check like our solar um, stuff and I had to be at home, but I was like originally planning on going to Starbucks in the morning. So I was so disappointed and my friend like brought me Starbucks after she was done with work. I'm just like so blessed to have her as a friend, especially when I move someplace new because we're relatively new to the area. It takes me a lot of energy to make friends. I'm very much an introvert and it, it just, it's, it, I have to exert a lot of energy and I'm so glad that we became friends and that we live close together and that she has a son Jack's age and we can have them play together. It's just so great, but I'm just reminded by that Starbucks cup because I remember feeling so disappointed I didn't get to do my little morning outing with the kids and get my coffee for the day. And that in some sense is one other way that I try to keep my house clean is by taking the kids out and you know by working so hard the evening before to tidy up taking them out and going to Starbucks like keeps my house that way and then you know we might get home and have like an hour before Jack's nap and then you know he goes to bed and I can tidy up the smaller mess that was created. 
but you you know you guys saw I was dealing with a pumpkin I my mom had given me that pumpkin and I just kind of figured I'd let the chickens go ahead and eat it because it's good for them so I chopped it up and then I was trying to use my food processor because it was hurting my hands so that just made a huge mess in my kitchen but it ended up getting cleaned up On, on the day that I filmed this, I believe I had to take Aubrey to gymnastics. So by the time I got home, this is kind of what I came into. Juan, you know, put Jack to bed, but Juan has to get to bed early. So the house was just kind of definitely lived in by a toddler and my husband. So I really wanted to go ahead and clean this up. I had to shape my sourdough loaves and get them in the fridge. So it was just pretty messy. So once I dealt with the sourdough, I got to work cleaning up. It's definitely later in the evening, but in my opinion, I'm already a night owl as it is, but but it's so much better just to get everything clean the night before so that I can wake up in the morning to a relatively like tidy home. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope that it kind of just normalizes what a lived-in house looks like. And if you guys are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe. I just kind of take care of all things mom. I have party preps. I have organizational videos. I share recipes. So I would love it if you stick around. And I would love it if you hit that thumbs up button. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Take it easy on yourselves. Give yourself some grace if your kitchen isn't totally clean 100% of the time. And I will catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.